Did you know that after skin cancer, breast cancer is the most frequently diagnosed type of cancer in women? Here's a little known fact though, it's not just women who are affected by breast cancer. Seeing as we're all born with some amount of breast tissue, anyone and everyone is susceptible to it. Here are some potential signs of breast cancer you might want to keep an eye out for. There's a lump or a thick patch in your breast that feels different from the rest of your breast tissue. Your nipple seems to be flat, or it's turning inwards. The skin of your breast has changed color. The breast skin might now look pink or red for those with white skin. For those with brown or black skin, the skin of the breast might seem darker than the other skin on your chest, or it could appear red or purple. Your breast looks different. It could be a change in size, shape, or overall appearance. The skin covering your breast has a different texture. It could look like it's dimpled or resembles an orange peel. You notice peeling, scaling, crusting, or flaking on the breast skin. Now, let's look at things that can increase the chances of developing breast cancer. A family background of breast cancer can play a significant part in your risk. For instance, having a parent, sibling, or child who's had breast cancer makes you more susceptible. The younger your family member was when they had it, or the more relatives you have with the disease, the more your risk goes up. However, remember that most people who get breast cancer don't have a history of it in their family. If cancer has ever developed in one of your breasts, there's a greater likelihood of it showing up in the other one. Additionally, a past personal record of certain breast conditions can lead to a heightened risk of breast cancer. These conditions include ELCs or lobular carcinoma in C2 and atypical hyperplasia of the breast. If you've ever had a breast biopsy that detected these conditions, your risk goes up. Starting your menstrual cycle before the age of 12 or entering menopause after 55 can lead to an increased risk of breast cancer. While both men and women have breast tissue and can get breast cancer, women are more prone to developing it. The composition of your breast tissue also plays a part. Compared to fatty tissue, if your breasts have a greater amount of dense tissue, including milk glands, milk ducts, and fibrous tissue, they are considered dense. Dense breasts make it difficult to spot breast cancer on a mammogram, increasing your risk. Be sure to consult your healthcare team for more comprehensive tests if your mammogram shows dense breasts. Consuming alcohol can also contribute to an increased risk. So, you can have your first child later in life, specifically after 30. On the other hand, having been pregnant lowers the risk, while being childless increases it. Just like you grow wiser with age, unfortunately, your breast cancer risk grows too. Some hereditary DNA changes known as BRCA1 and BRCA2 can significantly heighten your breast cancer risk. Although not everyone who inherits these changes gets cancer, it still adds to the risk. Certain hormone treatments designed to manage menopause symptoms can also boost the risk of breast cancer, particularly ones that combine estrogen and progesterone. The silver lining here is that the risk decreases once you stop taking these medicines. Obesity is another risk factor. Moreover, if you've had radiation treatments to your chest when you were a child or young adult, your risk level shoots up. Here are some handy tips to reduce your chances of getting breast cancer. Start by having a candid talk with your doctor or healthcare advisor about when to begin breast cancer checks. Consider the pros and cons thoroughly. This will give you an understanding of which breast cancer screening tests are appropriate for you. Getting to know your own breasts through a routine self-check can be useful. Inform your healthcare advisor immediately if you spot something unusual, like a lump or any unexpected change. Keep in mind being aware of your breasts won't ward off breast cancer, but it will help you understand your body better, increasing the chances of noticing any changes early on. Limit your alcohol consumption to at most one drink per day if you choose to drink at all. It is a fact that no level of alcohol consumption is completely safe for breast cancer prevention. So, if you're really worried about the risk, you might opt not to drink alcohol at all. Make sure to exercise for at least 30 minutes on most days. If you've been inactive for a while, consult your healthcare provider before exercising, and remember to take it slow initially. Hormone therapy can enhance the risk of breast cancer. Before proceeding, discuss the potential benefits and detriments with your healthcare provider. Some individuals experience bothersome symptoms during menopause. Such individuals may find the risks associated with hormone therapy acceptable for gaining relief. To minimize the breast cancer risk, Use the lowest possible dose of hormone therapy for the shortest possible duration. If your weight is within a healthy range, strive to keep it that way. Discuss it with your healthcare advisor if you need to shed some pounds. They can help you follow a healthy weight loss plan, which usually involves reducing calorie intake and gradually advancing physical activity. If you've got a higher chance of developing breast cancer due to family history or past precancerous breast tissue, there are steps you can take to reduce this risk. This is something you should talk over with your healthcare team. They'll walk you through the various routes available to you. 
One method your team might suggest is taking estrogen blocking medicines. Known as selective estrogen receptor modulators or aromatase inhibitors, these treatments are proven to lower the chances of breast cancer developing in high-risk individuals. As a bonus, they're also used for hormone therapy treatment in cases of breast cancer. However, like any medication, they do come with potential side effects. As such, these drugs are typically only recommended to those with a particularly high risk. To decide whether they're right for you, it's essential to weigh the pros and cons of these medicines with your healthcare team. If your risk is exceptionally high, you might even consider surgery to help lower the odds. Procedures such as a prophylactic mastectomy, where the breasts are removed, or a prophylactic ophorectomy, removing the ovaries, can be considered. These surgeries can significantly reduce your risk of both breast and ovarian cancer. Thanks to scientific breakthroughs, our healthcare professionals can now detect breast cancer at an earlier stage. An early diagnosis means a much higher chance of finding a cure. Can't cure it? Don't worry. There are plenty of treatment options available that can prolong life. The ongoing progress in breast cancer research empowers healthcare professionals in choosing the right treatment path. That's a wrap. We hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on health and wellness. Take care of yourself and stay healthy.